What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to show you how to export in mono. This is Slime Green Beast. What's happening and whatnot. So, um, we're in the FL Studio 20 mixer. So, the easier, the easiest way to st do stereo separation is to just twist these knobs. So, left is more stereo separated, right is more mono. But this is not necessarily the tool you want to use. Although you can use this to like for minor tweakage, okay? Minor tweakage. We want to use a tool called Fruity Stereo Shaper. So it should be right here in alphabetical order. Fruity Stereo Shaper. So this is what we want here. All right, and we're going to use these two presets. One is called LR to LL, and the other one is LR to RR, okay? Here's LR to LL. See which one you like the most. Use the twist it to you like it method. So we tried this one. Okay. Um, LR to RR now. These are both the mono presets. Dope, right? I, th I like this one more. And then, you know, you can adjust this knob. See how much you like the mix. Maybe just all the way up. Then again, you can maybe tweak this knob just a tad. But using this one too much, just like it really dilutes the quality. See, that's the, that's the key. This kind of like more preserves the quality of the sound. Lit, right? So that's pretty much how you do it. Mess with those knobs. Mess with those presets. Fruity stereo shaper. This is like the bass one. So you can do this on every single track, every single uh, sound, like you'll see here. Maybe you want the snares to be more wide, kicks and anyways to be a little tighter. You can make those little tweaks here. And again, like just, there's no set amount you should do. So like, just twist it to you are satisfied with the sound. That's a, that's my general rule of thumb. So maybe just like a touch of the mono here, a little bit of that. Maybe to where it's just like weird like that, you know? And then um, that's the model you want. And then export wise, we're going to go to, okay, export. Yeah, we all know that. Cut, wave, eh. See, see, now we have an option to use mono here and I suggest not doing it. I suggest doing it in the mixer because you'll actually be able to hear it before you export. So that's, that's just like a simple thing for me. Like, I don't know what that's gonna sound like. I feel like I don't really need to explain it more than that. 24 bit HQ, 512. Make sure you're choosing all these settings and then start, guys. And that is how you export in mono. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, this is really cool for effects, melody effects, whatever type, whatever instrument, or if you want the overall track to be in mono, this is this is the way to do it, guys. Fruity Stereo Shaper. It's a free plugin, so that's awesome and whatnot so peace out guys peace out if you guys have a video suggestion leave it in the comment section hold it down slime green beats one